Well, I hope everybody's back from their lunch and uh, had a healthy uh, solution to meat, vegetables maybe. And uh, on that topic, I would actually like uh, to see if everybody's back, not actually just leaving their computer on. Uh, Jana, are you back? Yes, I'm back here. Good, good. Mart? Okay, Marts, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Meeting. I am here. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Njor, Irjo. Maybe not. Sigrid, are you back? Maybe still leading. Sombit. <laughs> I'm in. I'm back. Good. Hey, uh, did you hear me? Yeah, we can hear yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am also back. Villa four. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Good. Good. Hanna, Lisa. Okay. Not yet here. Uh, Eileen. Yes, I'm here. Good. Mary. Yes, here. Ayn. Yes, I'm here. Good. Trin. I'm here too. Certainly. Edwin. Sandra, are you with us? Maido. Yes, I'm here. Good. Now I've got a small exercise for you. Since uh, we're talking about plant-based uh, menus, I would like all of you to think back to the last time you actually ate a plant-based uh, food, not uh, anything with meat. And I would like you to uh, talk about it. For example, I uh, had the uh, chickpea curry with paprika and uh, tomatoes, I think last week. And uh, would anybody go next? I'll start picking names then. Maido, would you like to go first then? I can't really remember the last time I had a hand food. Okay, good. Well, you know uh, uh, then that you need to start eating more plant based to remember <laughs> the last time. Green. Do you hear me? Yeah. Um, actually, me too. I don't think I have really eaten plant-based food. Maybe like one Caesar salad with what it was uh, with tofu. I don't know. There was no chicken or any, anything. I don't know. Okay. But I don't. I haven't eaten really plant-based food. Okay. That's interesting. Hi. Mary, would you like to go next? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember the last um, food that I have it like the beans, the moon beans. Yeah. Did you only have beans? Um, actually, I have put meat on it. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> hey, Marianne, you make a pasta that I remember. You have salad and pasta. You said that you post on Facebook, you have five euro what you can eat. You remember? Yeah. That is fun, babe. That was a long time ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Was Annalise also with us or Annalise isn't with us? Jana, would you like to go? I know a teacher would eat definitely some vegetarian or plant based. Well, the, hey, yesterday I ate uh, a product called Werner. It's a substitute of a uh, döner kebab meat. One of my uh, children uh, is a vegetarian. I bought this stuff from shop, but I don't remember what what is uh, this product is all about. It's it's rate make, mark is Werner, <laughs> like a döner, but uh, but it's made uh, it's plant based. Yes, vegetarian. But I really don't remember. You can Google it out. Werner with we, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, but it tastes like uh, like uh, mostly like normal kebab meat from kebab animal. <laughs> yeah, yes. that's uh, what uh, the plant based say is nowadays about. You can actually mimic most of the uh, foods uh, like uh, satay. It's uh, basically like chicken, but it's made from wheat. Hello, Sammy. Yeah, and uh, a lot of fake meats like Beyond and the, like you said, kebab meat is actually tastes like kebab meat, but it's actually not. It's a substitute to like uh, whatever it's made of. I'll definitely Google that after this session to see uh, what it's made out. Uh, would uh, Mart like to go next to talk to us about what he ate last time about vegan? Or plant based. Mark, can you hear me? Yeah, I do can hear you. I haven't eat uh, meat based food. Uh, no, not not meat based. Meat based. Uh, I haven't uh, eat uh, vegetable. Plant based. Plant based. Yes. Yeah. So we don't really consider plant-based to be our first priority so it uh, can cause at one point, uh, point uh, more harm to us than we think so that's why uh, we should start thinking about more uh, daily like what we eat and uh, what we actually put in our food because uh, at the moment uh, how many of you can say they are looking at the products they buy from a superstore for example like uh, do you actually uh, watch the like uh, such uh, like meat for example how much is there actually like meat for example how much pork is in a uh, minced meat packet and how much is it fat and how much uh, is there like uh, any other uh, uh, made things uh, can I share something yes uh, uh, because yesterday, just yesterday, I was in our meat processing uh, labora uh, laboratory or the meat processing um, uh, workshop in our school. Uh, and uh, they made new uh, barbecue sausages. And of course, they were traditional meat based like chicken and chili. And uh, there was pork with uh, mozzarella and some dried tomatoes, which were delicious. But there was also a, a, a barbecue sausage entirely filled. The sausage was filled with a with a like a, a vegetable mix. So uh, you you can do very typically meat produce, which which is barbecue is basically it's a very much meat based thing. Uh, I myself like to put on the barbie, for example, uh, mushrooms. Really enjoy the mushrooms or. Uh, Paprika that is filled with uh, olives and cheese. I, I can't say no to cheese. So there, there are a lot of options, even if you think um, uh, of, of a typically meat-based uh, thing like a barbecue. 
Okay, thank you, Sigrid, for sharing. Uh, Nior, would you like to go next? Uh, actually, I'm in diet, so. <laughs> Sorry, but still, I'm every day I'm cooking. Uh, I usually like to cook fish and vegetable rather than meat. And mm -hmm. my kids are eating meat, but uh, every day I cook that fish, but it's also coming not every day from the Finnish market, it's coming from the Asian market. So that okay. kind of fish I used to eat every day and also vegetable. No meat. Good, good. Good that you're uh, looking for uh, like uh, fresh and uh, good ingredients. Yes. Sombit, would you like to go next? Uh, yes. Um, our family eating behavior, we eating everything. Everything means that in, in during one week, uh, we will have one meal that we I try to teach my son to have this kind of habit eating as a plant based as well. So um, I feel guilty for the young <laughs> young kid to ah I don't like it and many but that's a we we our family eat like that. I also like that. I I we do every I I did uh, food with. Uh, can you hear me? No, I can hear you some bit. Oh, did I just cut off my microphone yeah. or something? Oh, um, we our family did uh, make a plant based quite one once a week. We have those meal in one day, so I eat them a lot of vegetable and salad. Okay, good, good to yep. hear. Sammy, would you also like to share when was the last time you ate something of plant based or entirely vegan? Nope. Okay. I'll uh, talk about uh, a little bit uh, more on the this uh, this uh, subject about uh, uh, now. Uh, I'll find uh, this one. Yeah. No, it was the wrong slide. Sorry. Uh, can you see this slide? Yes. Okay. Um, basically, I'll talk about uh, what the, the vegetarianism and plant based is uh, doing to improve uh, our uh, generation and the next generation, and a little bit uh, about the, like I said, uh, how often do you look at uh, something uh, on the store shelf and uh, watch uh, what the sort of ingredients are in the product like uh, when i go to the store i usually uh, see how much uh, meat is uh, for example in uh, sausage or uh, how much they put the uh, fat in some sort of product and um, since uh, a lot of us are grown on meat for example we didn't have this uh, sort of uh, vegetarianism or plant-based diet when we were younger. That affects our next generation. For example, uh, did you know that a larger percent of uh, kids have uh, uh, allergies against uh, like uh, lactose and that sort of uh, uh, things? Because uh, the more meat that uh, we eat, the uh, more it uh, uh, like destroys our uh, genetics and uh, it makes us vulnerable to like more genetic uh, mutant uh, mutination so that our kids and their kids uh, can't eat basically a lot of the things that we uh, could eat and that makes us like uh, less uh, stronger and uh, makes us more vulnerable to uh, every sort of diseases and that uh, can make a difference in the long run that's why uh, a lot of uh, people have uh, embraced the uh, plant-based diet because uh, it helps their uh, body stay stronger longer and helps them uh, absorb vitamins and uh, helps them to be stronger. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, now that uh, 
we've done uh, this uh, presentation that uh, the next time you go to store, you'll look at the products that uh, you'll buy. You'll see how many like fats and uh, other stuff they put in uh, products that isn't meat. It's some sort of uh, element that you need to look up, uh, up on your phone because uh, it's not like uh, written. It's some sort of like X O E substitute for meat. It's not actually meat that was uh, grown in some sort of uh, lab, like we discussed uh, on the first uh, part of the presentation, that you can grow meat in uh, a lab and it tastes like meat, but it's not meat. It uh, has more like um, bad effects on you than the real meat does, but they still put it in the package because it's like uh, lower cost and they're trying to save money on uh, your expense on your health uh, and that uh, what's destroying the next generation so plant-based is uh, like uh, trying to save the planet sort of and i'm hoping that you'll think about more eating uh, vegetables and uh, being uh, more uh, known about uh, every sort of uh, disease and what it does to your body if you only eat meats and fats that uh, you could have a heart disease uh, when you're like 20 or 30. It could affect your uh, like mental state. It could uh, bring uh, more and more uh, uh, unknown factors to the table and you could uh, have a lost, uh, longer effect on uh, things like uh, if you eat meat, it would take uh, usually like three hours to uh, digest it. But uh, in a few years, if you keep only eating meat and fats, your uh, system will grow weaker and weaker and uh, you'll soon uh, need to basically, you can't uh, take the all vitamins that the meat gives you and you basically can't get any vitamins or uh, nutrients from the meat. Uh, so if you start eating more vegetables, it will balance the system and try to make your uh, body uh, healthier and uh, stronger. So I'll uh, do the second part of the presentation. I'll see if you can see me or see the... Can you see the screen? Yes. Yes, we can. OK, good. Uh, this is our uh, Copley uh, food, uh, like uh, Circla uh, in uh, Tartu. Here we give out food and people can eat it. For uh, Of course, at the moment, um, nobody can really sit too close to each other. I'm going to talk to you about the nutritional needs now, so you'll know how, what you need to be focusing, uh, focusing on more when you're uh, trying to eat plant-based. Can you zoom in so it will be a bit bigger? Yeah, of course. Is this good? Thank you. Yes. Good. So these are the basic nutritional needs you'll uh, need. So proteins and essential iron, of course, calcium, omega-3 fat acids, vitamin S, and that's what I was talking about in the earlier presentation about the different uh, things you get from uh, nuts and uh, milk and uh, that sort of stuff. But you can make most of these on your own. You don't need to go and uh, buy store brought products. You can ma make easily milk at home, cheese at home. You don't need store brought because uh, you'll never know what they actually put it in the like uh, product. To be absolutely sure, you can easily make any uh, of these uh, products like cheese uh, and uh, milk and uh, even tofu basically or any fake meat you would like. <clears throat> and 
take care of these when you're planning your pop-up event menu also. How far are you guys on uh, your menus? If I may ask, are everybody thinking up ideas? Today, the... uh, yes. Uh, today, me and Mirana was uh, we was planning with the planning with the name and the pop up. So we will see what we will decide. But we discussion today. Okay. Yeah. Good. So we 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 we're going okay for us. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. It's going to be okay for us. I'm excited with the menu and coming up. So it's interesting. It's very interesting. Okay. Good, yeah. Good, good to hear that you're uh, coming uh, alongside with the menu. Uh, just remember all the like slides. Don't focus on one. At the the like big picture that we all are trying to give you is to focus on all of these, not like one specific like trying to incorporate uh, all of this because every uh, like uh, subject that has been given and will be like uh, give uh, give you like um, all the like to, uh, together the basic uh, idea of what we're trying to teach you how's the uh, Estonian do students coming with their menus Uh, yeah, um, for our group in Bamia, we already talked some of the some some potential menu that we can include, but um, we're still trying to figure it out because one of um, we one of the consideration it should be sustainable and it should be um, what you call this um, in source, not outsource products. Yeah, that's uh, really good that you're uh, trying to think about uh, things that are at the moment that season and uh, local to you. And of course, uh, it all together is uh, really hard to like envision the project, like you're uh, really young students all and you're trying to make a menu with all these like restrictions that you need to have one uh, like um, uh, plant based one needs to be like uh, only meat one needs to be fish and that sort of and it needs to be local and it needs to have all of all of these like uh, recommendations but it's yeah i understand it's really hard but if you have any questions or you need any ideas feel free to ask me or your teachers uh, we'll all help help you with the uh, pressure like we're happy to help does any other students have any good news to give about the menu part? Maybe Estonian students? Mart? Or yeah, I'm here. Um, I don't know about the menu. Have you uh, thought of anything? Some sort of ideas? If it's uh, just a uh, uh, budget the, if it's uh, just uh, not uh, with the meat, yeah, then yeah, we can make some soups, uh, puree soups or something with just uh, easy ingredients. Okay. Or if uh, not, then we can make some salads. But with what, I don't know. Okay. If you need help, just let me know. Yeah, just a, a quick question. The focus of the menu, if I remember correctly, and I ask Markus and Jan and Sami to help, it should be something that is sort of like small servings. It should be like a uh, finger food or uh, that yeah. sort of uh, takeaway food. Uh, yeah. sort of. So it, you it need to have it uh, on a small portion. It should be like finger food, sort of like uh, fusion. Yeah. So yeah, so maybe it would help if you think about it even as as like a food truck or a, like a a real pop up event that people can come and and take small portion and eat it. So this is this is also to just to keep in mind when you think of the menu that it it's not a sit down. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, so basically like a takeaway street food uh, sort of thing that you eat with your hand but we are yeah. uh, recommending yeah. that you use uh, like forks and that sort of stuff or spoons to put it down yeah so it can be a small salad maybe inside something or on top of a a, a piece of uh, bread something so that that definitely works um yeah. Like a ice uh, salad duck or something like that, or absolutely. Uh, so, uh, so uh, d just just keep that in mind. Uh, serving soup can be a bit tricky, but it can be done. It can be like drinkable, maybe. It, yeah, yeah exactly. it can be a cold like a soup bisque. that you can drink. Like a bisque. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm. Or consomme. You can make stock or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just let your yeah. mind go free. Yeah, and, and uh, really encouraging you to ask teachers if you run into trouble. Uh, yeah, trouble or you do not know what to do or what to think. Uh, I know it is difficult because we are not meeting uh, as we had planned in the beginning. Uh, but uh, but we, we are trying to overcome this. Yeah, it's important to you to still try to do the work not to get uh, hung up on something and try to get past it because we're all here to help. The uh, point of the Facebook group is uh, that you can uh, relate to students and ask for their help also. And if you're uh, with other students from uh, every, you know, uh, Vamnia, Scotland and uh, Finnish, uh, you can ask for their ideas, maybe make some sort of fusion like we talked in uh, last session about the gastronomy that you make like a Thai or Asian uh, and Estonian uh, cuisine fusion. Why not? Like it's encouraged. I would uh, think that uh, it's a wonderful idea to make your uh, like uh, together something. Yeah, I see Ona has her hand up. I don't see Ona, but yeah, you can Ona. <laughs> yeah, OK. I just would like to remind you all that Remember when you're planning the menu, it's not only the vegan menu. You need to have the story behind the menu. So uh, I would recommend that you need to start with the planning, the idea. What is the, your pop-up idea that you have a name and you have an idea what you are creating? So it would be much, much more easier than create the menu because it has to be like uh, Marcus was saying, it has to relate the all the models what you're going through and that's the only kind of it's not the only way but it helps you a lot when you are considering for uh all the ideas let's say that uh you name your um pop-up um business a certain way um uh, let's say while and uh, you use uh those um wireless in uh, in your dessert and remember that you need to create four different DCs and the one what you need to create, it's plant based. You need to sort of, if you already have start the planning, you need to sort of change the idea that one of the this has to be the plant based uh, idea behind it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, thank you, Una. Okay, I hope every uh, student understands. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We'll certainly help you. I'll uh, continue with the presentation at the moment. So these are uh, the basic uh, places you get protein. They are not the only ones, but they're just here to help you alongside if you need any help, but there are a lot of info about these uh, on the web and you can ask me if you have any more questions where to get protein. For example, here are uh, soy, nuts, beans, and of course there are lentils under that, cheese, eggs, cereals. Uh, there are a lot of more things under it that uh, can be brought out to help you build your uh, muscle mass and repair. Uh, basically, if you have uh, protein, you get more uh, strength and uh, you need strength uh, to get past the day. <clears throat> so next slide. Iron. 
Iron, of course, uh, comes from uh, tofu. Uh, this is uh, breakfast cereal, beans, seeds, bread, kale, cabbage, and broccoli, nuts, and dried fruit. Fruits. Of course, you can make your own fruits. Uh, try them. Uh, it's better even because you know. Uh, what you're uh, putting in the dryer, you know how many, uh, like uh, what you're putting in, for example, uh, bananas or uh, what's ever local to you. For example, you can put uh, apples in. In it's stone, it's really common to try uh, apples because it's like in our uh, history, even a lot of uh, people eat it as a like uh, iron uh, snack or sort of that. I'm sure in your country there are a lot of uh, these uh, things that uh, you know that are in your culture that you know that uh, have been used, but you don't think of, about that as a uh, uh, like need for your iron or uh, protein uh, sufficiency. You only think about it as food or ingredient, and that's uh, what I'm trying to say. It you need to think more like um, outside of the box uh, where uh, like what you get from a simple thing like apple and uh, how you try it and uh, what kind of sort of uh, uh, if you buy a store bought uh, apple that uh, has been sitting in a uh, store uh, somewhere for at least a few months and then brought into the store but if you dry your own, you know you're getting a fr uh, fresh fruit that you dry and has a lot of juice and vitamins and sugars that are all natural and you also need to get through the day. These help you, uh, your health and your blood uh, men uh, go uh, better around your body and maintain your uh, like uh, uh, muscle energy levels and that sort of stuff. <clears throat> Next slide. Calcium. Uh, calcium is uh, really popular uh, in uh, kale, oranges, greens, and uh, bread, broccoli, dairy, and alternatives. Uh, uh, and uh, it's really popular uh, in breakfast cereals. Needed for healthy bones and teeth, teeth uh, and uh, for proper working hard. Next slide. Omega-3 fats and acids. Of course, uh, you remember uh, butter and margarine and cheese and uh, coconut oil. I talked to you about this, uh, that you can make your own. You can substitute these for uh, different uh, choices. For example, uh, avocado oil, you could uh, make your own uh, sort of spread with uh, making uh, coconut uh, oil and seasoning that with something and making uh, uh, that into a buttery uh, form and making that your bread uh, butter. You don't need to use uh, some sort of store broth. You can always substitute uh, things. Sunflower, soy and flakeseed oil, uh, rapeseed oils, uh, this is, uh, lime seeds, nuts, walnuts, almonds and peanuts, soy, peanuts, uh, beans. You can also make different foods uh, like smoothies and things uh, out of these uh, ingredients that uh, help you digest it uh, easier because uh, seeds take longer to or uh, less to uh, digest than uh, any other that we've discussed. Vitamin B helps avoid uh, anemia and the nervous system damage. Food variations with uh, B12, including some plant milks, some soy products and some uh, breakfast cereals. Next slide. Vitamin D. These are most common in uh, soy, mushroom, fat spreads, cereal, egg yolks. Of course, uh, in a lot of uh, like uh, fruits and uh, vegetables also. Helps uh, take in calcium, make both teeth uh, stay stronger and muscles working properly. Next slide. And it's all at the moment. 
Does anybody have any questions? Yes, I have a question. The fast spread, can you explain that? Uh, I'm not really get into it. Is it like a margarine or something? Mm, can you repeat, please? Uh, in your slide, it said that fat spread. Is that it's uh, something? Go back to those. Um, just, just now you will show the last page before you are uh, the question. Fat spread, you know, uh, is it like a margarine or something? I'm mm. not getting to that. Go this back one. to your slide just now. Uh, next slide. But uh, she's no, uh, just now, just before you are that page. No. Mm. No, How I saw. How much that slide? Action, yeah. Here? This one, the last one, fat spread. Uh, I, I, I confusing with that. It's like a margarine or something, fat spread. Mushroom below mushroom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, you could have different fat spreads, uh, like uh, I talk about, like coconut and uh, avocado oils. Oh, okay. Is it come from there? I my my understanding. I lost you. I I thought that there is something like a margarine or something. Okay, now I understand. Fat spread. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Good. 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 Now I actually have a small uh, test for you, if you're willing to do it. Uh, this is like uh, working together with this uh, Rock the Greens hub project. It uh, will uh, like self estimate you that uh, you've learned something today. And then we can uh, do a like recap of everything that we've learned. And you can ask me questions about uh, anything you would like. And I'll talk uh, like uh, we'll put the, this together just for uh, you can see if you can make difference between good dietary decisions and bad ones. It should only take a few minutes, no longer. There's one in Estonia, so Estonian students don't be afraid if you're having trouble with English. I'm sorry they are not uh, finished and uh, there only one is in English, the first one I sent, and the other one is in Estonian. I'll give you a few minutes to do the test. I'll think uh, like 10 minutes and then we'll uh, see how you did and uh, see if we can regroup and talk about these uh, plant-based uh, issues and uh, any problems you may have. Hi, can you please say again what we need to do? Explain that again. I, I quite confusing now what we need to do. Uh, it's some kind of question, some kind of task for us. It's a small it's, what is uh, that? it's uh, if you go on the link. Yes. Uh, then you should be able to, uh, it should open the, it's uh, like a self-assessment. Uh, Where is now? Where yes. is now? I'm not good at this. And then you can, uh, the first one I tried is um, you have to drag the right answer on top of the other one. Huh. And then they will link. Where and then is you put that? Tell me. Doing well. This is like a self uh, assignment that you uh, see if you've learned anything. Okay. Today. Okay, uh, can I share the screen? For yeah. exactly oh, Mark well. is asking a question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Artis, um, kas need vastused tulevad teile kuskile või? No. Uh, the answers are just for yourself. This is this is like a self reflection. Yeah. And here you see can you see what you already it. know and what you still need to ask. Yeah. So we'll take uh, 
a few minutes so you can see like what you need to learn more about. So then you can ask me any questions about the yeah, subject you didn't answer correctly or you're feeling doubts about. You can ask me even if you're doing them, yes? Yeah, because you don't have to log in, you do not submit your, your name, anything. You can ask. You have a question? Uh, yes, I have a question because that task is in uh, written in maybe some other language. This is not a Finnish or English. How could we do? First one is in English. The link I sent. Oh, the, the, the f ah, okay. Thank you. No I I opened the second one. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Don't worry about it. 